Oh, forgot that. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's why you wear junk clothes to work. Hey guys, welcome back to Ag with Emma. If you're new here, my name is Emma. I do farm tours and farmhand work all over the place. Today's video, we're still down in Texas with my friend Caroline. I met her off TikTok and we've been planting corn and doing a couple other things. If you've missed our last couple of videos, you can go back to the Texas Planting 2023 playlist, which you can find on my channel to kind of catch up with everything else we've been doing. Today's video, we're spraying again, doing some maintenance, and maybe I'll put some planter switcher upper things in here. Another thing I wanted to share with you guys is the hoodie that I'm wearing. It says farm, state of Texas. And I love this hoodie because it's such a simple way to represent the state that I've been working in for the last month. You'll probably see me representing some of the other states that I'll be farming in this year. If you guys would like to snag your own farming swag, you can find this at Farm Tea Company. She carries from all 50 states, farm and ranch apparel. So you can check that out in my description. I'll leave a link. You can use the code AG with Emma for a discount. So while I was at Commodity Classic, Caroline sprayed down here. Okay, so we are in the sprayer. This is what it looks like from inside. Let me get all set up. The corn's already planted. I'm putting out a post and pre-mix. Um, it's hard to see the weeds that are out here, but what I'm putting out will kill the weeds that are already up and prevent weeds from coming up. And whenever the corn grows, there will hopefully be no weeds for a very long time. Uh, this is what it looks like in here. I'm on auto steer right now. I have, it's hard to see with the sun, but my monitor, and I got the brown box on my 4720. 90 foot boom. I'll show you the weeds that are dying. So there's a little example. This was all the grasses. The corn is kind of wind whipped. That's why it's leaning over. Because it has been super windy down here. Like irregularly. Not fun. And it's cold. I think mean, it's 50 degrees outside. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, she got it. <laughs> this forklift is what has been reported to me as awful. <laughs> She's literally fighting it. So whenever she gets that on, it's going to be a great success. <laughs> Flashing around in there. this forklift is to start so you guys uh, can have some sympathy empathy whatever word that is for our issues here <laughs> neutral. neutral button wires turning here but while you do that you have to hold your uh, eyeballs in the right position um have like three hairs behind your ear and sit at a 92 degree angle <laughs> all right i've got the chemical totes in tow caroline is in front of me with the sprayer we're gonna road back through the highway because that's kind of the only way to get back efficiently um i'm gonna follow her because it is safer especially on this highway much like any other highway oh that doesn't belong on the ground. That's a cover for the fertilizer tank. Say goodbye to the little corns. They're a little stressed out right now, but they'll be better soon. I say stressed because they sprayed and then it's better if it rains a little bit after it's, you get sprayed. So the corn can like metabolize everything and uh, while it's Roundup resistant, well, Roundup ready corn, 
um, you spray around a bonnet, it's still a chemical going on the plant. So it's not gonna kill it, but it is gonna stress it out a little bit. We are supposed to get some rain today. Hopefully, maybe there's a chance of like a sprinkle and then there's a chance of rain on Thursday and Friday of this week. It's currently Monday, so we'll see what comes of that. But they would like it to rain because they sprayed, they needed to rain, all the goods. So plans changed. I went and picked up parts for Bo. I'm about to drop those off with him. And then I will be going back to the shop to drop off the chemical totes. So that's how today is going. Today we're taking a lunch break at the house. We're not going out to eat. We're being financially responsible, healthy girlies. <laughs> so we're servicing the sprayer now. She just looked up a uh, 4830 Hub Oil sprayer John Deere change. Uh, this is our first time doing a 4830. I always do 4720s, but this is a new to us sprayer, so I'm, I'm learning. It's a learning curve. Yeah, but I hear don't look in the manual for this. Look at a different uh, structure, but we're gonna find out. I guess we'll do the root and toot and find it out today. Also, the shop door is banging around because it's windy outside. Shout out to Texas. <laughs> oh, it's not going. <laughs> That's why you wear junk clothes to work. And then you take your oil filter out. Per typical oil change things. I'm hope oh yeah, I'm gonna need a uh, wrench. Oh. I didn't think this would be as tight. Get a fancy little dancing here. Okay. We're taking an impromptu trip to the parts store. Tool shed, Napa Auto Parts. It's not that there's a lack of tools, it's just that there's a lack of tools in the right place. Yeah, they're spread out everywhere. There's a lot of things that are not where they should be. It's like a 10 millimeter socket. You know, it just happens. <laughs> and you'll never guess, but we're back, ladies and gentlemen, on the Uncrustable Diet. So we're switching planters to cotton today. And first you have to, well, I already unclipped this, but that's a clip right there. It unclips that seed bin, the hopper, whatever you want to call it. You lift it. So this is the back bin. Lift it out. There's a little tube on this seed plate cover. I think that's what it's called. Maybe it's not. That comes out. You can see the seed plate in there. We're going to switch out the seed plates and then mess with some spacing and depth adjustments in there. And then go along and take that and turn it. That's the corn seed plate. We want a different one for cotton. And then you come through. Oh, <laughs> basically we're gonna get this to line up with this so this will pop out, but I need two hands, so. The struggles of trying to video what you do at work. Where's your magnet? <laughs> so we got all these out. Let's just appreciate the aesthetic of that. Caroline is marking them all with a marker, which row number they are, so that we can put them back. Well, I don't know if I'll be here for planting next year or not, but... Maybe so. Hopefully, hopefully. so. Hopefully. Yeah, they Why they is that the 60? Same. Oh. Well, it's 6 and then old because these are the old plates. Oh, it's not 60, yeah. it's 6 0. Oh, because that's row 6. 6. Oh. So if they put these back on next year, those will be the old plates they put on the same planter for this one. And then we're taking these little clips out. Yeah. Easy peasy. And then we're doing a little ploppy doppy on the little wire thingamajiggers. 
just like that. <laughs> and just in case Bo doesn't remember next year, the one in the big bags folded up inside the little bag are the ones off of the, the, older, uh, planter. the older planter. I will remember. Wait, I don't think he's going to remember. That's why we just video documented it. These are the cotton plates that we'll be putting on. Flip them around. That's, oh. the, that's the seed side. That's the seed side. So the corn plates were much bigger. Cotton seed is way smaller than corn. And then we also had to go in and move this little doohickey back from, so it was sitting right here. You have to push that in and move it up to two. So we're changing the seed plate height. So then it's too, it was too loose swinging around, mm -hmm. right? So he's adjusting that. He took the little clip out, fiddling with it down there, put the clip back in. Make it go burr. <laughs> I just don't want to get my fingers. And then you put your cotton plate on, clip it up. Too Should have went too. Or you just keep adjusting that until it is the designated or preferred not looseness. Kind of a, <laughs> after you've been doing it so long, you just kind of get a feel for where it where it needs to be. There's a speck on it in the book, but but after your professional mechanic, <laughs> you just know. Too oh, many years. Moment of truth. Is that too loose? It's pretty close. And he's gonna adjust it again. It is raining. I'm a little wuss, so I'm gonna grab my hoodie. We're almost done with that. Last one. Bada bing, bada boom. Now I have to close, turn, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> We have to change out closing wheels and put the little herbicide thingy on this one and wire it. And then they can plant cotton. It's supposed to rain about an inch um, the next 24 hours. So that'll be really good for the corn. And then it'll be warming up again so they can plant cotton, but they can't plant it when it's cold. Cold snaps really mess with cotton. That's a stand for a little pressure gauge to go up there so you don't get this pressure gauge and that pressure gauge confused with the herbicide because they're not putting down fertilizer. Nope, no no fertilizer for cotton. So this is the fertilizer gauge, different gauge for herbicide. So now this is all set up, good to go. So this is gonna run to this little T. This is connected to all the rest of the lines. And then this hose is gonna connect right in here. Oh, we have to back the tractor up and hook the planter up. And then we're gonna put the tips on those, I believe. Planter is all hooked up off the ground, Bo centering that up. We're gonna take these tips off and put different tips on for the herbicide. There you go. These new filters, there's gaskets, tips, filters, and the nozzle. No, that's just the casing. What are the, is that the, that's the tip. That's the cap. That's the cap. There's the tip that goes in there like this. And has a little flat smooth edge is gonna line up in there somewhere. The tip goes in the cap, and then you take the gasket and you put it in there. And then after the gasket, you put the filter in, and then, if you can do it with one hand, you go ker-plunk, and then that's money, dude. Bada bing, bada boom. Take an intermediate lunch break. <laughs> but I was going to keep slaving away. <laughs> Back to... Oh, I still got caps in my pocket. It is very moist. Holy moly. It's good that it's raining right now because we've been in they've been in a cold snap, so they still need to plant cotton. Can't plant it when it's cold, but the rain is gonna help the corn out. So this is good. We're gonna put these on shorts. They're short instead of long. So these were the ones that were on the other planter. 
So this is the one we were just working on this morning with all the stuff in there. Closing wheels. And then we're gonna put that bar out for the herbicide and then switch the nozzles. Get all the tubing ready and then that one will be good to go as well. So I am putting these together. You take one of these bars and then you take this bar. This is gonna hold the nozzle on it. And then there's a little packet. We're gonna take this bracket thingy holder out of there. And then this nozzle holder thingamajigger. That's really all we need out of that because we don't use the uh, hose clamp or the gasket or the cap for that. And then we're gonna loosen this and put it in there and put our own cap nozzle and filter on. Take this, you unscrew it. That's gonna open it so it slides off like that. And then this part with this facing down and the hose facing towards that side goes in there. Like that. And then you take this piece, you slide it around this. Uh oh, I don't think I have enough space, so you gotta unscrew it more. This might not be Make your over there. Like so. Take your cap, pop it in. And there you have it in like two minutes. Caroline has been putting these on. The bracket on right in here. And then the bracket holds this bar. And then you tighten that up and make sure it's level. We're gonna lower the planter because you can see some of those level these aren't as level. But. Then we'll make sure it's all straight. Oh, that one's not even gonna try to stay straight. <laughs> We got this planter done really fast because Bo was changing out the closing wheels. Caroline was putting the bracket and the bar on. I was doing the nozzles and the caps. And then I bring those out and then Caroline would bolt those on. And then I would go help her put brackets on when I was done with the caps and then moved all the closing wheels. Also, just to cover real quick, we're putting on these herbicide attachments onto the cotton planter to save time during planting because cotton, you have to get it in at the right times. So you don't want to be worried about going back and spraying it if you still have to plant mm -hmm. cotton and their fields are pretty far apart that they do plant cotton in. <laughs> That's all I have for y'all today. Remember to subscribe so you don't miss any of the adventures. I will have farm tours and more videos from Texas coming out soon. As always, thanks for watching. Hasta la pasta.